So welcome back to Goddess on the Go TV. And before we start, we are going to get out of here and we're going to come hang out in here today. So I want to welcome Sylvie Bartholomew. Sylvie is an Ayurvedic expert and creator of Stress Free in the City. That's right. She's also a good friend and um, someone who has helped me along my own health challenges when I was trying to figure out what my body was really needing. Thank you, Leora, for having me today. It's always a pleasure to hang with you, <laughs> anywhere. A lot of people are dealing with stress on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you combine Ayurveda with helping people to release and let go? And you, can you share a little bit for our audience who isn't, who aren't familiar mm -hmm. with Ayurveda, a little bit about the history of it? Of of what it is. Mm -hmm. So first we'll start with Ayurveda. Okay. Um, Ayurveda is um, often called yoga's sister science. Mm -hmm. It's um, yet another gift of India to the world. And uh, India's traditional system of medicine, it's a very comprehensive system of medicine. It's very holistic. And um, it looks at the um, individual as a, a microcosmic expression of the universe and acknowledges that all of us are made of the five elements, ether, air, fire, water, and earth in different proportions in um, unique ways. And, um, and so it really looks at each person as absolutely unique and therefore offers unique um, treatments, unique protocols for each person. So it's really the opposite of the one-size-fits-all approach to health and wellness. And that I definitely love about Ayurveda. Uh, and then in regards to, to stress, um, my, it's definitely the focus of my practice to help women relax and feel good. Um, and um, my perspective on stress is that uh, it's not so much what happens to us, um, but it's really how we choose to handle what happens to us. You know, often people will say, well, my boss is stressing me out, and this is stressing me out, and this situation is really getting to me. Or is it more that I'm allowing the situation to get to me? And so when I'm helping women with using Ayurveda and yoga and meditation, all of which are very much intertwined, is to create a, an internal state of being that is resilient, to shift internally how they're feeling, and from that place, how they're perceiving what's happening in their life. Because it's all in how we look at it, right? Exactly. It's all about the lens through which you look at your world. And uh, that's why we say, you know, we create our reality. Depending on how you feel, you're going to experience every day's events differently. And as we know, the same thing can happen to different people. Like you lose your job, someone might just go into a depression, or someone might say, well, you know what? I was ready. Yeah, I think I'm ready to move on to the next thing. So anyway, proof is that stress has nothing to do with what's happening around us. It's all about in there. So I help women change what's going on in there. <laughs> so awesome. And we all need, you know, as many kind of lessons along the way, especially as women who give, 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 give. How do we... Mm -hmm receive? How do we mm -hmm. give to ourselves? How do we treat ourselves good? Mm -hmm. I would suggest the aura and aura massage, what uh, we call the Abhyanga. It's mm -hmm. a central practice in Ayurveda. It's warm oil massage. And when you think of it, because Ayurveda is very much a, a medicine of qualities. Mm -hmm. I mentioned light quality, uh, mobile, dry, those are the qualities of the fall. What would be the opposite? Stable, heavy, warm. Mm. When you know that, oil, warm oil massage is the quintessential mm. vata pacifying ritual. You know, so you basically would warm up some oil, it could be sesame, it could be coconut oil, you could add some essential oil mm. uh, for a more luxurious experience. Like oil, thank you. Absolutely. 
that protein is <laughs> products are awesome and uh, warm the oil, find a, a warm spot in your in your place, get naked, and then just really lovingly apply the oil all over your body because it's not just about slathering yourself with oil, it's the time that you put aside for yourself in your day to do that, and either in the morning or in the evening. Mm -hmm. I like to do my abiyang and my oil massage at the end of the day, mm -hmm. take a hot shower afterward, mm -hmm. or a bath, mm -hmm. or if you have access to a steam room, oh, I for it. <laughs> Am I ready? <laughs> and then you just pat dry, put on your PJs, and hop into bed. Yeah, and try it out, especially with that oil you gave me yesterday, right? Yeah. I put some on this morning, but talk about mm -hmm. luxurious, just to just give yourself it's that moment to be still and, and, and give your own self touch. I think it's really yeah, it's important real, uh, we forget to, to explore to ourselves, ourselves and yeah. know our own bodies is so important. Yes, you know when I massage my body like this, I really like to thank internally or sometimes aloud if there's nobody around. Mm. I thank each body part mm. for the awesome work they're doing. Yeah. 24-7, you know, this awesome body in which we live, I mean, it never uh, never ceases to, to amaze me. Mm. And so, yes, it's definitely an expression of self-love to take time to apply some oil lovingly and mm. calmly. Mm. It's, uh, it's sensual and it's spiritual mm. at the same time. So awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> because <not? laughs> men, it's important that you take care of your bodies as well. So, when you're feeling those kind of winter blues creeping all the way up through your body till you want to like pull your hair out, before you get to that point, try this massage with warm oil. I mean, mm -hmm. just talking about it kind of makes me a little like, hmm, yes, please, I want to get into my mm -hmm. tub right now. Mm -hmm. And then take a warm bath, like do that for yourself. Yes, I want to say that it sounds simple, as so many other um, recommendations we give in Ayurveda, but it sounds very simple, but you really have to do it. Like when I give myself an, an Abhyanga, you feel so pampered afterward, you feel so soothed. You know, the nervous system is really pacified and in that way you feel ready mm. for whatever life brings you away and that takes the stress that takes mm. the edge off uh, beautifully so thank you again so much Sylvie for sharing that yummy tip so treat yourself do not cheat yourself because you deserve that and we will be seeing you soon. Again, follow us on Goddess on the Go TV on YouTube. And we love you. And until next time.